Hey, my name is Kara. I'm an ultrasound tech, and let's talk today about what we can potentially see at a five-week ultrasound. Now, it's important to note that it's at five weeks, zero days that we can see any signs of pregnancy on ultrasound. Anything before that, unfortunately, we will not be able to see anything in the uterus, and the uterus will just look like it does when it is not pregnant, except the endometrium might be a little bit thickened, but that's about it. So if you do come in any earlier than five weeks, zero days, then you are not going to be able to see anything on ultrasound, even if your pregnancy tests are positive. It's also uncommon for us to see patients come in this early for an ultrasound, just because if you are under seven weeks and we are scanning you as in anywhere between five to seven weeks, yes, we are going to be able to see the pregnancy as well as potentially measure a crown rump length on baby. But unfortunately, the estimated due date is not going to be as accurate than the due date that would be calculated if you were over seven weeks. So that's why we always encourage if there is no complications that the patient does come in anywhere between seven to 10 weeks for that first dating ultrasound. Anyways, let's get back to the five week ultrasound. So as I said, at five weeks, zero days is the earliest that we can detect a pregnancy on ultrasound. And at five weeks, zero days, what you're usually going to see is a gestational sac only. The gestational sac is going to be that big black area just right up here in the uterus. And the gestational sac is seen at five weeks, zero days, or at five weeks, one day. And this yolk sac, which is this circular thing right here within that big dark area, that is the nutrient sac for baby. And that will appear at around five weeks, two days, five weeks, three days. And it's usually not until about five weeks, four days that we are able to see this tiny little blip right here beside the yolk sac. So you see this little dot right here. That is the developing embryo. That is a little baby there. And at five weeks, five days is when we are able to detect a fetal heart rate on ultrasound. That is going to be the earliest that we are able to detect any sort of cardiac activity. I also thought it would be helpful to throw in what baby would look like at about six and a half weeks. So this baby is measuring six weeks, four days, and it is this grain of rice looking thing over here. So you can see even a week of difference can be huge in the first trimester when you are going in that early pregnancy stage. This looks like a grain of rice versus this one, which again would be the week before at about five and a half weeks. This looks like just a little blip. And hopefully this has illustrated how much of a difference even just a day makes when you are scanning in the early first trimester, which is, again, why we always encourage patients who are not having any symptoms to come in in the later stages of the first trimester, as in over seven weeks. This is to cut out any sort of unnecessary worry, as in if you came in at about five weeks, zero days, and only a gestational sac was seen, then there is also the question of whether or not it is a viable pregnancy, or you are just unable to see anything because you are too early, versus if you just came in a couple weeks later, at around seven weeks, we would have been able to see the fetal pole for sure. And then also you wouldn't have to come back in for another scan just to get an accurate due date. Of course, sometimes doctors are still sending their patients in at that very early stage if they are suspecting things such as an ectopic pregnancy or if the patient has had losses before and they want to just make sure that everything is looking okay. They are going to send that patient for an earlier dating scan than the recommended 7 to 10 week window. But for a pregnancy that is normal and healthy, we do advise you to wait at least until 7 weeks to come in just so that there isn't any sort of unnecessary worry if you end up coming in a little bit too early to see baby. And also, even if we did see baby between that five to seven week mark, we will then book you for a follow-up after seven weeks to be able to get an accurate due date anyways.